everyone how are you uh, today i'll talk about pickle so you must be thinking like uh, what does a technical tutorial have to do with pickle yeah that's all i was thinking so pickle it's not the pickle that we eat it's a uh, it's a module it's a python module so uh, as we all know so that pickle is a module uh, supported by python and we'll talk about it so before that i'll let me introduce to you to my channel uh, my channel is linux linux ax um, please subscribe it i usually share tutorials for python self scripting wind uh, linux cloud computing etc okay so don't let, let's not waste the time and start with the tutorial okay so uh, <coughs> pickle is a very uh, nice uh, module in python which is used to to store the objects into file or into a string so it is used to uh, you know uh, make the objects serializable uh, you know uh, and make it portable so you can uh, store the objects uh, into a file or in a form of a string and then you can uh, you know uh, make it portable or you can use that use that file and import and again use that file uh, as an object as a storage of object for some other program okay so we'll just uh, i'll show you how to you know uh, use it so it's by default uh, that that module is present if you go to your uh, python prompt just do m import pickle so i think you should not get any error because pickle is uh, present by default so just just type help pickle and you will find out a very basic documentation so what it says it says it create uh, it creates a portable serialized representation of python objects okay uh, so it has some functions so so it has two things it has pickler and uh, unpickler so pickler means when we create uh, a dump of uh, of objects or uh, when we create when we store the objects into a file or in the form of a string that process is called pickling and when we unpickle it or when we uh, take out the objects from a file or from a string that method is called unpickling okay so we'll see the functions one by one so dump we'll see dump which is used to to store the objects into a file and then we have a dump string which is dump s which is used to store the objects in the form of a string and then again we have a reverse method which is unpickling which is loading the objects from file okay and loading this objects from the string okay so yeah so let's just we'll create a very basic program okay uh, pickle program we'll just give it a name like this okay so and we'll just show you uh, you know how to use this method use this uh, you make use of this module okay so first of all i have to import pickle okay and then let's just uh, let's just create a list or or in fact we shall uh, we shall we shall we shall take the you know uh, number of we shall take the, the object or the items from the user okay so enter number of items okay yeah enter number of items so and then we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead with, uh, with a loop for i in range 0 to n and we'll take the items which will be considered as the objects okay and then we shall take raw underscore input why we are taking raw input because we can accept anything you know into the item we can accept a string or we can accept an integer or a double value okay uh, so so yeah so we are uh, just you know uh, accepting the item over here okay yeah so dollar n n plus n plus one okay and then so we'll just uh, enter item this okay yeah fine so we'll accept the item from the user one by one okay and then we shall create a list and we'll store the values 
in the list so item item equal to this right so now what I will do is I will store that item into our list right so let's say list list one dot append and then item will append this item into the list and before that I will just initialize the list to a blank value right so we have the list right just we'll just uh, you know for the verification purpose we'll just uh, check if the list is properly accepted from the user okay so let's just set the permission first of all pickle program yeah okay okay so okay so this is my program i'll just try to run it okay there are some error okay yeah so i think i some made some very silly mistakes okay i was in a hurry so let's just uh, you know uh, okay uh, so here you don't need to give dollar to access the variable you know uh, that's the best part of python you can directly access the value using the variable name okay and then uh, we can concatenate using the plus operator right yeah okay let's just check this out if it is working or not okay into the number of items let's say i want to enter three items okay so again we got some error in line number nine okay list append item okay list one dot append item so what is the error i'm getting let me just check i am i mean line number nine enter raw import okay so here i got the value and then okay so i will just uh, okay let's let me it should work this time enter number of items three cannot concatenate string and the integer object okay so uh, in fact what it is saying is it is saying me that we cannot concatenate number of items which is an integer to a string right so that's all it is trying to say how about now okay so enter the number enter the item 4 why is it saying 4 I again made some mistake I in range okay so here I have to give I instead of n because we I want to traverse this the for loop from 0 to n so 0 is uh, so we have to give the variable as I okay so let's say three item uh, something 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 yeah so we got the item we got the objects right so now our purpose is we want to store that object into into a file using the pickle using the pickling so what i will do is uh, i will use this uh, pickle dot dump to so dump what does dump do it will take the object okay so dump what is the uh, what is the dump so it will take the object which is a list list one and then the file where you want to dump it okay so before that we need an object of the file so we'll open a file right so let's say uh, file one equal to open open a file we'll just use the current folder and let's say I give a name as uh, as uh, list data right and then we'll open this file in uh, in write mode binary mode okay fine so we got the file object and we'll use this file object as a second argument to this pickle method right so if I run this I think then after that we have to close the file right unless we close the file uh, we cannot save the data into it okay so let's just try to run it let's say three item okay 
Shan Watson Okay Faf Okay for three items uh, the list is displayed let me just check if the file is stored if the, if, if the objects are stored in the file also so we'll just go to the folder I hope it will be in my Python folder yeah so this is my data let me just check if the data is stored here or not okay yeah so you see that the objects are stored here right so p0 p1 p2 p3 right okay so this is my first object second object third object so this is how my objects are stored into the file so this is how we store the object into the file now we can use that file again to import the <coughs> to import the objects anywhere in the other program so it, this way it makes the pickling uh, tool makes the makes it portable okay next what we will do is we will store this this uh, this this data into a string okay uh, so how we'll do that we'll just use pickle pickle dot dump string dump string and then what we'll do is uh, we will dump string we what do, what do we want to dump the list this is what we want to dump and then we will store it into a string right okay so this is my string where we are storing it okay so just to you know you know you know uh, let just to understand and we'll just print the string as well so just to check if it is uh, being stored into the string or not okay so we'll just Done it one more time. Four items. First item, Shane. Okay, Watson, Romeo. Okay, so this is my list printed as usual. This is my uh, data from the file, from the string. Sorry, and also the same information is written into the file. Okay. So we'll just check it again. Yeah, so you see the file is written over here. Okay, so what we have done is we have opened the file in right binary mode. If we open the file in append binary mode, in that case, whatever data we write, it will be appended instead of overwriting. Okay, so this is how we can store objects into the file, which is pickling. Now we shall learn how to do unpickling, which means now we are going to take the data from the file okay so we have a file and then we shall uh, take the uh, objects from the file so pickle dot load from the file which is uh, in in current scenario which is we have so what we'll do is we have to open the file again let's say file 2 open the file and the file name is list data and we are going to open it okay let's just we'll just give read mode because we are just opening for the reading purpose okay and then we will just do file 2 okay and we'll load the file load the object from the file and then we'll give it some name here so unpickled data equal to so now we are opening the file in read mode and we are loading the objects from this file into this data right okay so now we will just try to print it okay print unpickled data from file okay yeah so okay so we'll just see if it works okay yeah so print just print this okay yeah copy paste okay yeah for, for, for now I'm just uh, you know uh, commenting this line because I don't want this thing to be print, printed here I'm, I'm saving it again and we'll just run it again 
okay let's say five items integer double name again some random data okay yeah I see some errors uh, okay unpick color tuple has no attribute read line okay file dot read line okay so we got some error pickle dot load okay so we are getting some error by loading the data from file right okay cool uh, so what I will do is I'll just open the the help from my prompt python pickle help pickle okay so uh, load file into the object okay yeah so load file into the object so when we load the file it is returning as an object okay so let's just try it one more time so load the file and then so here it is automatically uh, loading loading the file I think we can directly print it over here right I'm not sure let me just check okay okay I'll just try it one more time three item okay 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 uh, 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 uh. file or read line object has no attribute read line. let me just check why it is throwing this error I will just pause for the for the, the video for a while okay so what I have done is I have made a very silly mistake which I came across now so what I have done is I have not given here if I see I was struggling for it like what is the error so I have I haven't open I haven't used the open method so open and then the file name okay so this is the file object and then what we are doing is we are printing the the, the data which is uh, you know loading the objects from the file okay so we'll just try to run it into three items item number one okay uh, okay uh, yeah so this is my three uh, three uh, objects which I have stored into the file so this is my file uh, and unpickled data from the file is also the same and if you go to the folder and if I just if you see this file reload so you see the same data is in the file also okay so this is how we can store the object into the file we can store the object into the string we can we can take uh, which is called pickling and when we when we uh, re, uh, restore the the object from a file and when we restore the object from the string that is called unpickling so this is all in this tutorial uh, if you if you find this video anyhow useful to you please 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 like like my like the video and please subscribe and if, if you find this is useful and uh, you please share with your friends because if you like the video I feel that uh, I, I, I somehow uh, helped you and my video is uh, you know uh, the content is good and it will give me a confidence so please 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 like it and press the subscribe button okay uh, so that uh, I, I, I may help you in a better way next time. Okay, thanks for watching.